Hey everybody. Playboy Cardi, all red song we covered already. Yeah. But he released. Uh, I mean, it's a music video, but he labels it as what's now called a visualizer. It's sort of a type of music video uh -huh. that doesn't have the production of a music video that is used to just accompany the music with some sort of visual element to give the vibe of the song. That's the best way I can describe it. Okay. And sometimes they're really lazy, like they'll do like some stupid animation. Um, or sometimes they'll actually be a bit cooler where they show more of the actual artist uh -huh. and things like that. I'm hoping it's the actual artist, which is Blue Bacardi, right? Yeah, um, me too. And All Red. Have you listened to that song at all since? Uh, yeah, once. Yeah. 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 Well, I've listened to it probably, you know, like 20 times. <laughs> yeah. And I said in the video how it wasn't, I wasn't super impressed by it. Uh -huh. um, but, you know, things usually grow on me. Yeah. Uh, and it has grown on me. Still not one of my favorites of the tracks we've covered on the channel mm -hmm. in terms of his single uh, output lately. But uh, now that I know some of the lyrics and the way it flows, right? Yeah. Now it gets me hype. <laughs> good, so I'm good. excited for it. Yeah. So we're going to check out the All Red Visualizer. visualizer. Yeah. Because cool. you know you know how important the visuals are with Cardi. And, oh, yeah. And stuff. Oh, yeah. So in order to follow his uh, his lore up to the album release, I think just keeping up with everything is important. So. I'm I'm all in for that. Yeah. Okay. Here we go. I haven't seen it yet. What type of shop is that, man? I don't know. Oh, see, records. Is it? Oh, yeah. It's records? Is it records? It's sort of like J'adore. It has uh, art and magazines. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Wake up, filthy. Okay. And I'm not going to uh, force myself not to not pause this time. So I'm going to pause it when I see stuff. If there's stuff to see. Sure. You know what I mean? So sure. um, right off the bat. <laughs> right off already? Something. Well. Do you hear that phone ring? That ding, yeah. Wake up, filthy. Yeah. I'm going to give you some info. So I'm going to yeah. give my dad some background to everything. Please. So that's a producer tag. That little phone sound and wake up, filthy. Wake and up filthy, filthy is uh, spelled F1 and then L-T-H-Y. So filthy with a one, uh -huh. all caps. So, you know, he's a producer. He works a lot with Cardi for Whole Lot of Red. He uh, produced a lot of stuff for that. Some of the best tracks on Whole Lot of Red, uh, which was like four years ago, mm -hmm. Cardi's album. Mm -hmm. And uh, he's part of a production group called Working on Dying. And Working on Dying has some of the best producers out right now, including Benny X and a couple other guys. And But they came from pretty humble beginnings working in the underground with people like Black Cray, for example. Oh, Black like Cray. Hydrocodone, you know? Yeah. Even Blade. Oh. So Blade has an album from 2017 called Working on Dying, and it's produced by Working on Dying. So even Blade has worked on a whole project with Working on Dying that has Filthy in it. And yeah. now Filthy and Working on Dying, they've just added pieces and assembled this team uh -huh. of just like superstar wow. producers. Exciting. So it's pretty exciting. Yeah. So yeah. now when you hear it, and when we get into more recent stuff where there's producer tags and you hear the filthy, it's like, let's fucking go, you know what I mean? <laughs> right? <laughs> Off the bat. Because yeah. usually it's a it's an indication that it's going to be good, mm -hmm. right? <laughs> mm -hmm. Wake up, filthy. And he's on the cover of a billboard. Oh, shit. <laughs> okay, sorry. <laughs> We're like... <laughs> I feel like uh, he warned you guys. I feel like I'm Dante doing this. Oh, the joke on uh, on Dante's channel. Oh yeah, is, uh, Stop like him every few he, seconds. Yeah, like he'll have a a song that is five minutes, but he'll stretch it to like a 35 minute video. Okay, know? well I I'm giving you free reign. Yeah, do what you like with yeah. this particular video. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So I mean, right off the bat again. So Maybe he's on Cardi, Bill, he's on yeah. Billboard magazine. Right. Cardi is all the rage. Mm -hmm. Is this an actual billboard or he just pasted this together? Well, he's in the shop, so I think it's a legitimate right. billboard magazine, oh, wow. which I didn't know about, which I'd like to get my hands on, actually. Yeah. So if you're in uh, London Drugs, I'll please. Look, I'll look yeah. for it, yeah. Um, and then also, I Music, he's rolling out all these visuals for it. I'll show you some of the merch stuff that came out uh, recently. Mm -hmm. And I Music is the album. And here... This font is what he's sort of been working with lately. Mm -hmm. um, it's sort of like a a gothic, modern gothic yeah, look. Yeah. Um, and the double double layer. Yeah, is that's really that's effective. Isn't it's, that effective? Yeah, I like that a lot. Yeah. 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 It, it gives it this sort of 
kind of ornate look. Yeah, know? yeah. Yeah. Cool. So that so also remember that because mm -hmm. that's going to be all around his stuff coming mm -hmm. up. Mm -hmm. um, so that's just exciting because Cardi fans are like, when the fuck is the album coming? <laughs> right? And then to see this, now he's yeah. getting our blood flowing and yeah. Yeah. Okay, we're five seconds in. <laughs> that jacket is crazy too. I sat down, crust, turn on my neck, show them up. I sat down, crust, turn on my neck. Already I'm liking the song more. Yeah, I sat the video. Down, cross, turn on my neck, oh my god. I sat that jacket down, cross, is turn ridiculous. Turn on my neck, shut my The beanie is packed that sad. My bad trying to go for a ride. I put vet mask right on her thighs. I put the mask on, cause I be fried. All red, I stay with the fast. All red, we pull up and fight. All red, somebody died. All red, All I'm right. <laughs> We done pushed out with no seats. So like, man, you can get bleach. I used to ride badges, then I got reach. This is a thot, she can't be my bitch. Yeah. This is a thot, she can't be my bitch. Yeah. I come to your spot, we spread the bitch. I come to your spot, we spread the bitch. <laughs> Let us know. <laughs> I got the drop, we lay that bitch. Hold on, hold on. Get stolen vehicle, drag that bitch. Hold on, push in your black on his prayer. Push in your black on his prayer. Somebody sit on my prayer. Yeah, this, this Somebody sit on his prayers. I got some shit going crazy. <laughs> I need a whole nother level. I'm on the whole nother level. I'm a different type player. I'm a different type player. I remember saying he doesn't slur his words in this uh, track as much. Uh -huh. Do you know these guys? No, I don't. I don't. I know that, that's now Canadian rapper. The only big brown, like Indian rapper. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's a... Uh... You know who that is? It's hard to tell. I'll uh, know is, is that... Is that... Is that... Oh. Shoot, is that somebody like, uh, it's not li Little Yachty. No, 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 no it's no, not. No. He's a bit older, but oh, still who, who is it? Who is it? Think of a song that begins with some elegant piano. Oh, it's not like Jay Electronic or no, something. No. He wouldn't be in this. That song yeah. starts off with, this is, this is what you've been waiting for? You ready? Oh, I don't know. Who? Uh... Remember, I had to pray for times like this to shine like this, so I had to grind like that to get like this in the bad and the and the shit and the dark shit. Yeah, who is that, man? Who was it? Who was it? Tell me. Meek Mill. <laughs> yes! Yes! Yes, that was that, yeah. that. That's who I was thinking of. Yeah? Yeah, Actually, Meek Mill. What was, the, what was the song? Dreams and Nightmares. Yeah, that song, fantastic. It just escalates and yeah. escalates and escalates yeah. and escalates, right? Yeah. And yeah. people were saying it was a huge hit in the clubs. Yeah. <laughs> that's right. Meek Mill, who's from uh, out east. Yeah, yeah. 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 So that's Meek. Nice Meek seeing Mill. some, yeah, some yeah. faces. Yeah. <laughs> cool. <laughs> oh. So they didn't play the whole thing. Uh, no, that was the whole thing. That was the whole, that thing. Was the whole thing. It's oh, pretty right. short. Yeah. Yeah, I, I could have. Yeah, I know a lot of lot of rap tracks are short. I mm -hmm. wish that was another two minutes. I know, right? Yeah, yeah. I was really getting into that. Yeah, with the video. I was in this club. I was starting <laughs> to really get, you know, a place where I've never been. <laughs> you know, this yeah, is, this is yeah. a place, right? Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But uh, wow. Yeah. Well, this was true to form. I mean, this did remind me of the recent Cardi tracks yeah. and, and, and the atmosphere, right? Yeah, yeah. It's quite similar, I think. Mm -hmm. Yeah, especially the way it's, it started out on the street. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. And in those videos, he was wearing a lot of black. Here he's in mm -hmm. white. He's in white. Yeah, yeah. yeah. That's, and I, that's I a got, good point. I got to agree with you. That's a, That jacket is to kill for. Right? Yeah. So this is a, yeah. also 
glad that you mentioned it now. It gives me an excuse to talk about it. Um, so, oh yeah. So, Peli Pel. What is Peli Pel? Uh, or Peli Peli. Um, it's, they make coats, like leather jackets. Uh -huh. So, in the 90s, late 90s, I think, especially in the 2000s, they were sort of the rapper jacket from, I think, mostly the East Coast, you know, where it's cold, right? Makes sense. Um, where they just have this absurd back print embellished with jewels and metal studs mm -hmm. and embroidered yeah. um, beyond belief. And uh, the designer is Mark Buchanan. You can see it at the top. Oh, yeah. There. Yeah. Above Peli Peli. Um, so, yeah. Crazy jacket. Collector series, it says. So, mm -hmm. I don't know if this is made, like, specifically for him. Because I know Cardi had a Peli Peli jacket made, custom made for him, which is not cheap. Like, it's a... Yeah. They, they use yeah. great leather and, you know, yeah. stuff like that. You're into some you're into some pretty funky clothing. Uh, you don't have a jacket by this guy. No, I don't. No, yeah, be yeah. beyond your means, probably. I mean, you could save up for it, but yeah. it's not like it's not like Louis Vuitton, you know. Oh yeah, uh, yeah. you get a vintage one for yeah, not an insane price, but nonetheless, like you wouldn't want to buy another one. Right? Yeah, <laughs> otherwise yeah. you might be broke. <laughs> Um, but yeah, sick jacket, so sick. And he, again, he's sticking with this sort of style where. A lot of music videos, the f the way it's filmed, they follow the music. Where if it drops, then it changes on the drop. You know? Yeah. But here he just lets it play out. Like, you just get a look peering through a window into his life directly. Right. And he's not filtering that with anything to, uh, to yeah. go with the music. And he's adding these, like, black... Like who does that? <laughs> yeah, and and because of that, that that gives me a sense that I'm actually there. Yes, right. You know, it's not a uh, orchestrated production. production. Yeah, yeah. You know, yeah. It's just cuts of this and that and the other, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. 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 So that, that's why I was getting that feeling. I was actually in that club. Mm -hmm. You know. Yeah, I'd like <laughs> to see you in that club. Yeah, yeah. throwing ones. <laughs> quarters <laughs> Weird. yeah i guess in the cool stuff yeah yeah wow we we listened to uh earlier today we listened to an mc hammer track yeah from 88 mm -hmm. man has it changed <laughs> yeah, right hip-hop yeah wow wow yeah it's really really changed <laughs> yeah and i really uh although my you know the breadth of my knowledge of hip-hop is is, is you know, not that great. Um, yeah, I can just see how this guy is cutting edge. He's right on the forefront. Yeah. It just, it comes through loud and clear. Yeah. Yeah. This tattoo here, just so you know, because it probably will be brought up on the album when it comes HBA? out. HBA? HBA, yeah. And uh, Hood by Air, which is a brand. Oh. Well, it was his track. His track, but it's yeah. actually a fashion brand. Oh. And that started, I think, uh, late 2000s or early 2010s. And mm -hmm. its heyday was sort of from 2010 to 2015. And they made these sort of monochromatic black and white yeah. fashion things that Cardi really likes. Yeah, you mentioned that. Actually. Yeah, and it's cool. They have some pretty androgynous stuff. Um, so, yeah, a really interesting brand. And that brand died down, I think. I don't know if it was due to some controversy or just the fact that designs were not as good anymore or what, but styles changed. But now Cardi is like the first guy in the mainstream to bring it back. Hasn't he got some flack over this androgynous clothing? So yeah, in the beginning. You mentioned that too. Yeah, right? yeah. So we have to. So for you watching, we're going to do the I Am Music reaction. And we're going to do it in a crazy place. You're going to see what we mean by that. <laughs> That's an understatement. You I know. think it will blow your mind. Yeah. <laughs> so stick <laughs> around for that. But we're going to do the album and then we're going to go back in time for the Cardi stuff. Great. If that sounds cool. So uh, when we do that, there's this one song called At Me. At, like the symbol, and then M-E-H. It came out in 2020, uh, during the first third of 2020. And um, that marked a new era for Cardi where he's moving especially to this high-pitched voice. And 
even the music video style starts to resemble stuff like this a little mm-hmm. bit more. Mm-hmm. And then people were saying like, oh, he's sitting like in the video, he's sitting down and they're like, he's sitting down like a, a woman, you know, what a, what a, you know? <laughs> yeah. 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 Like yeah. what the heck? Yeah. And stuff like that. Um, but he has gotten past those sort of allegations and now people for the most part are just rocking with whatever he does. Right. So mm-hmm. th- that's a song that marked that. Cool. So I'm really excited for what comes next. Mm-hmm. Uh, I'm excited for what comes next. And then I'm so excited to go back and hear him at the beginning of his career. Mm. I have not heard any of that stuff. Yeah. 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 It'll be neat to see how he's uh, changed over the years. Yeah. So thanks for watching, everybody. Please let us know uh, what you are excited for from Cardi that's coming up. Like, what is next? If you know, you guys probably have a better idea than I do. And uh, what you thought about this uh, visualizer that we just watched. We're really excited to react to more Cardi. So stick around and uh, keep, keep with us on this journey. Thanks for joining us today and see you again real soon. See ya.